All right, so the Dodge 4.7 liter, uh, the all too common lifter failure, the tappet. Um, so this rocker arm was loose and it was laying up inside of here. It's actually back there in the very back is the last one. I'm trying to hold this steady. Right. Where my finger's gonna go. Right there. Anyways, um, it had worked itself loose and come out. So I know you said that they had been replaced. I don't know who did them, if they did them all. That doesn't look new. I don't know. It, you know, it's no telling how long it's been riding around like that. Uh, it just looks older. I don't know. Sometimes they appear to be that way. But um, all this sludge. So anytime I have any of this open, I always clean this out. Let's see if I can show you how look at that look how thick this right here is and that's what's circulating in the motor that's what's down and being picked up by the oil pump ultimately causing the death of the pump scoring it up scratching the walls uh look how crusty this is uh so what i do i get a bunch of degreaser and cleaner brake cleaner all the wonderful chemicals clean all this off uh get my shop vac suck as much as of it out as i can the rest of it when you blow it it, it breaks it all loose it's a nasty mess and then you get as much as you can out of the oil pan you run some flush you do the best you can get it all out um and it helps mm, keep it from happening again but even just the accumulation of uh, sludge um is really what's causing a lot of these problems here but anyways um it's going to show you what is on this one side for sure i have not pulled off the other side i did the spark plugs change the coils um i'll pull the other side off and see what we have over there